if teachers can stay with their classes, that would be much appreciated as well. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Rahmaduhu wa nusalli ala rasulihi al-kareem. Amma ba'd. Respected ulama, parents, and my beloved children. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I would like to extend a warm welcome to everybody to our annual Madrasa Jalsa and prize giving ceremony. It is our annual Madrasa event in which our children will recite nasheeds, poems, and deliver role plays. Inshallah, it will not only be a proud moment for both students and parents, it will also be a gathering of teaching and learning, inshallah. Today, the students will be the teachers, and we shall be the parents, students. Inshallah, the program won't be too long, rather short, sweet, and at the same time, spiritually stimulating. So without delay, I would like to start the proceedings. As always, we shall commence with the blessed verses of the Quran. For this, I call upon the student of our Hibs class, Abdullah Azam Dadabai, to come forward and recite a few verses of the Holy Quran. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله والتنذر ولتنذر نفس ما قدمت لغد واتقوا الله إن الله خبير بما تعملون ولا تكونوا كالذين نسوا الله فأنساهم أنفسهم أولئك هم الفاسقون لا يستوي أصحاب النار وأصحاب الجنة أصحاب الجنة هم الفائزون لو أنزلنا هذا القرآن على جبل لرأيته لرأيته خاشعا متصدعا من خشية الله وتلك الأمثال نضربها للناس لعلهم يتفكرون هو الله الذي لا إله إلا هو عالم الغيب والشهادة هو الرحمن الرحيم هو الله الذي لا إله إلا هو الملك القدس دوس السلام المؤمن المهيمن العزيز الجبار المتكبر سبحان الله عما يشركون هو الله الخالق البارئ المسور له الأسماء الحسنى يسبح له ما في السماوات والأرض وهو العزيز الحكيم سرق الله العظيم
MashaAllah, a beautiful recitation. Alhamdulillah, Abdullah has uh, completed his hips this year. May Allah accept him for the khidmah of the Quran. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also connect us to the glorious Quran. Just a quick reflection, just a question to ask ourselves, how much Quran have we recited since the month of, month of Ramadan has finished? Moving on, we need to create a connection for our children with the madrasa from a very young age. This is vital in giving the correct foundation of deen in their lives. The madrasa will be the building blocks for their Islamic education. For this, I call upon the first of two groups from Pray and Play to read a nursery rhyme in English regarding going to the madrasa. So if we can have group one from the Pray and Play class,
Mashallah, Alhamdulillah. It's so satisfying to see that um, our children enjoy going to madrasa. Probably something different to how many of us felt um, when we went to madrasa. Along with the madrasa, it is just as important to have the connection with the masjid. The masjid is the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is our fort to protect us from shaitan. Inshallah, I call the second half of the prayer and play class, second session, who will come and they'll read another, another rhyme, nursery rhyme, and this one is called Down by the Masjid. So if prayer and play session two can come forward, please. Allah, Allah Ta'ala keep us all connected to the masjid. Allah Ta'ala is the creator of the entire universe. This whole universe is a living testimony to greatness and the oneness of Allah Ta'ala. An Arab poet says, in everything is a sign which proclaims Allah Ta'ala is one. Inshallah, I will call upon class one to share with us a nasheed highlighting this point. So I will call upon Maryam Suhail Suleiman, Rahma Irfan Patel, Maria Muhammad Kazi, Amina Zahra Yunus Pandor, Ziad Muhammad Mangera, Humera Iqbal Nariyawala, Muhammad Asif Patel, Laiba Rahul, Rahul Patel, Iram Rahil Ahmad, Amina Asif Desai, Maryam Ab Abdul Ikkeria, and Amira Nashil Ahmad. 
was long. Okay, just a reminder that we are taking donations.
Gut, gut, dann haben wir uns dann wieder. Um, so far, donations that have come in for all participants from one Muslim sister, 15 pounds. From Muhammad Yasin, two, sorry, four Muhammad Yasin bucks. From mom and dad, a seal envelope. For Yahya, Faisullah, Ismail, Dada and Daddy, a seal envelope. Same for Khadija, Faisullah, Ismail. For all participants from Haji Yaqub Sufi, ten pounds. For all participants from Haji Azum Dada by ten pounds. For all participants from Haji Ani Sharifa Buta, twenty five pounds. And for Sania Kabir Mia from Molana Joinul, ten pounds. So please do keep them coming in. Moving on, we are drowning in the favors of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There is nothing in reality we can complain about. We need to be grateful. Sheikh Salim Dorat Sahib quotes, quotes his Sheikh as saying, We are drowning in the favors of Allah ta'ala, thus we should drown in shukr and the gratitude of Allah ta'ala. So inshallah our children from class 2 will ask a very important question. Which, which, we'll, which we all need to ask ourselves, am I really grateful? So I will call upon Wadiyur, Muhibbur Rahman, Hafsa Khalid Amin, Amin Suhail Khan, Rukaya Mia, Adam Muhammad Desai, Rayan Imran Rawat, Aman Bukhari, Fatima Anamul Haq, Yusuf Ahmad, Safraz Ismail, and Ahmad Muhammad Said. Thankful to the Almighty One for the early morning, Mr. Barak's rising sun. During Fajr prayer, I use my soft prayer mat as Allah's servant. Do I appreciate that? Th throughout the day, do I realize that Allah, all knowing and the most wise, gives, gives me what I need and so much more, and that. I have so much to be grateful for. A scent of fresh rain, a small child laugh, my sisters who choose to stand for Islam. A piece of food, a glass of water, brothers protecting their sons and their daughters. A grandmother love, a book of hadith, the clothes that I wear, the food that I eat. The book that I follow, the Holy Quran, promoting the good and ending the wrong. So I must ask myself every beautiful day, am I truly grateful for each breath that I take, for each and every moment that I am awake? Do I back up in my best for sleep and do a dream that caused me to weep? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.
Mashallah, food for thought for everybody. Our ultimate love should be for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He deserves everything as it, is, as it is He who created us. He is our sustainer. Allah ta'ala says, وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا أَشَدُّ حُبًّا لِلَّهِ The believers love Allah ta'ala the most. This is the objective of our life, to recognize, worship and please our Creator. I call upon a few girls from class 4 to read a nasheed in regards to our relationship with Allah Ta'ala. So I call upon Hasina Rizwan Hansrat, Alena Riaz Desai, Nadia Asif Patel, Amina Abdullah Ikeria, Habiba Siraj Aslam, Sania Kabir Mia, Sara Abdul Mannan Mia, and Sara Muhammad Asjad.
Alhamdulillah, we have been blessed with such a great Prophet وسلم, who has not left anything for our well-being. He وسلم, has guided us in every aspect of our lives. Unfortunately, it is us who have forgotten or not tried to learn. I call upon class 3 to give a short speech reminding us of some of the pearls from this great ocean. I will call upon Ahmad Zahir Patel, Uzair Yunus Baks, Muhammad Naeem, Ejaz Malam, Adil Yasir Yusuf, Yahya Faizullah Ismail, Taha Khalil Asmal, Isa Imran Rawat, Ilaya Imran Ghani, Aisha Naeem Suleiman, and Nuseiba Rahman. Just one. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Our class will be presenting to you some short sayings of our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam regarding our conduct and everyday life by listening to these carefully and respe respectfully, our lives will be full of barakah if we bring these teachings into our life. Tawheed, oneness of Allah. Qul amantu billahi thumma staqim. Say I believe in Allah and then be steadfast. Importance of modesty. Modesty is a branch of faith. The best among you. The best among you is the one who learns the Quran and teaches it. Importance of cleanliness. Purity is half of Iman. Go to paradise by following Sunnah. Sunnah. Whoever obeys me will enter paradise. Discipline in Salah. Observe prayer at its prescribed time. Eat with right hand. Samillaha wa kul biyaminika. Mention the name of Allah and eat with your right hand. How to drink? La yashrabanna ahadum minkum qa'iman. None of you should drink while standing. Don't abuse. La tasubbanna ahadun. Do not abuse anyone. Promote. Greeting of Shusalama Bainakum. Promote greeting amongst you. The best remembrance. Of Zikri La ilaha illallah. The Zik best remembrance is there is none worthy of worship except Allah. Seek help from Allah. Ida sa'alta fas alillah. Whenever you ask for anything, ask from Allah. Show mercy. Man la yurham, la yurham. Anyone who does not show mercy will not be shown mercy. Taqwa. Ittaqillaha haythu ma kunta. Be conscious of Allah wherever you are. Say good. al karimatu tayyibatu sadaqa. Good word is a charity. Give gifts. Tahadu tahabu. Give gifts and you will love one another. 
We hope you found these short but valuable teachings useful. Please remember and try to bring these advices into your lives. You will get lots of reward and our Lord will be pleased. We also get closer to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam on the day of Qiyamah. Insha'Allah. As-salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. MashaAllah, lots of advice is there. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the ability to practice and expand our knowledge so we can implement more in our lives. Etiquettes and adab indeed hold a pivotal position in deen. Moving on, we live in a time where there are so many evils and vice around us. The reality is that many of the signs of our Prophet وسلم, mentioned by our Prophet وسلم, are evident and can be witnessed before us. Signs of the day of Qiyamah. To highlight this, I call upon class 8A who will come forward and share some of the signs of Qiyamah with us. So class 8A, if you can come forward please. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Dear respected parents, teachers, and students, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Did you know that over 1400 years ago, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam prophesied certain signs that would indicate the coming of Qiyamah? At this time, there will be many natural calamities such as earthquakes and hurricanes. Today, me and my class will like to shed some light on these prophecies so we can ponder and reflect whilst trying to abstain from these acts if we find ourselves involved in them. There will be an increase in high-rise buildings. Did you know there are 56 buildings above 300 meter, 350 meters, over 1,100 feet? Out of these, 50 were built in the last 20 years. Only six were standing before 1998. The clock tower in Makkah Mukarramah is the third tallest and stands at 600 meters. A person will be close to their friends and distance from their parents. This is very true in our time. How much time do we spend sitting on social media, interacting with our friends, even when we are close to our parents? Did you know the average teen spends a whopping nine hours on social media every day? Voices will be raised in the masjid. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says the masjid are for Allah, so you, should, so you shouldn't call out others. The masjid is the house of Allah, so you should have utmost respect. Allah's wealth will be taken as one's own possessions. This means people who are running masjids, madrasas and other religious institutes will think of, the pro will think of them as their own property and will spend the funds however they wish. Music will be widespread. Music is so common now. YouTube, Spotify, MP3 players, games, town, the list is endless. Did you know the music industry's revenue in 2017 was nearly $18 billion? This will be the main tool of the jal. Alcohol and drugs will be rife. Did you know that $276 billion are spent every year in America alone on alcohol and drugs? 
When people will be entrusted, they will violate the trust. Did you know that fraud had cost the UK £193 billion a year? More than £6,000 is lost to fraud every day. Divorce rate to rocket. Did you know in the UK alone there were 118,140 divorces in 2012? That averages 13 divorces per hour. Zakat will be considered a tax. Did you know that Zakat is mentioned 32 times in the Quran? Also, if all the Muslims were to give their Zakat correctly, the poverty of the entire world will come to an end. This Ramadan, UK Muslims gave an estimated 100 million pounds in Zakat. That's 38 pounds per second and nearly 150,000 pounds per hour. The latter part of the Ummah will curse the earlier generations. This means that people will talk bad regarding the Sahaba and the illustrious ulama of the golden years. People will claim greatness in knowledge over them. Did you know Imam Bukhari memorized the mind-boggling 500,000 hadiths with the chain of religion? The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam mentioned that the amongst others become the not disasters amongst others become common. Earthquakes, hurricanes, tornadoes, bushfires, etc., all will increase. Since 1994, there have been more, thousand, more than 8,000 natural disasters claiming approximately 2 million lives. So we have heard these signs of Qiyamah. Let us reflect. If we are involved in any, let us stop and turn to Allah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala safeguard the entire Ummah and make us all pious individuals. Ameen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Some more donations. Um, for Muhammad Yasin Bucks from Dada and Daddy, a sealed, sealed envelope. Again, for Muhammad Yasin Bucks from Cousin Aisha, £10. For all participants from Haji Zahid Waid, £20. For all participants from Haji Ibrahim Bucks, £10. For Muhammad Fardeen Shahan from Mom and Dad, £20. Keep them coming. Nowhere near how he is every year. So we need to pull the wallets out. Okay. Um, moving on to the next program. Allah Ta'ala has said regarding our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, إِنَّكَ لَعَلَىٰ خُلُقٍ عَظِيمٍ You indeed have a very high and lofty character. The Prophet Sallallahu character was sublime. In every aspect and sphere of his life, he is a role model for us. He is a light for us. Let us learn what character we need to adopt. For this, I will call upon boys from class 7A. Um, Irfan Munir Mamsa, Adnan Mushtaq Isab, Ibrahim Yusuf Umar, Yusuf Ayyub Leili, Aman Adnan Bashir, Habib Faisal Acha, Hamad Muhammad Zahid, and Huzefa Yusuf Umar, and Ibrahim Imtiaz Umar. Aman is here. Hamad. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh La ilaha illallah Muhammadun Rasulullah Alayhi salatullah Wa alihi wa al-ahibba La ilaha illallah Muhammadun Rasulullah Alayhi Wa 
والاله والاحبة Shine your mercy like the sun And be gracious as the earth Let your kindness come like rain That cares not whom it falls upon And let ocean deep your wisdom be Your heart a lantern spreading peace Give yourself in love of him Be like Al-Habib La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah Alayhi salatullah Wa alihi wal ahibba Be a blazing fire of truth Be his soothing bond of peace With the light of your sincerity Break the clouds of tyranny Let your faith be like a blessed tree Give your shades to all who seek May your roots run true and deep Take your strength from Al-Habib Ya Nabi Salam Alay Ya Rasul Salam Alay Ya Habib Salam Alay Salawatullah Alay لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله عليه صلاة الله وآله والأحبة وفاس to the company of the folk of certainty through the gaze and through your love for them may you be as one of them be as gentle as the whispering breeze Spread solace to the world we Let your heart and soul be mirror clear Give life and love to Al-Habib Ya Nabi Salam Alay Ya Rasul Salam Alay Ya Habib Salam Alay Salawatullah Alay La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah Alayhi salatullah Wa alihi wal ahibba Yet when you master all of this Forget not your neediness Worried not for Allah's grace None of this can be achieved So be humble as the lonely earth that all creatures walk upon Be the slave of the most merciful Take your light from Al-Habib So shine your mercy like the sun Send your light across the earth Let your kindness flow like rivers Quench the thirst of all who come And let mountains strong your spirit be Let your heart melt down in love for him Take the road that leads to him. May you be with Al-Habib. Ya Nabi Salam Alay. Ya Rasul Salam Alay. Ya Habib Salam Alay. Salawatullah Alay. Ya Nabi Salam Alay. Ya Rasul Salam Alay. Ya Habib Salam Alay. Salawat Allah alay La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah Alayhi salatullah Wa alihi wal ahibba La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah Alayhi salatullah Wa alihi wal ahibba Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. You look on my chicken. Okay, before we move on to the next program, just run through a few of the things that the madrasa has achieved over the course of this year. There's only a, a couple of programs left now, so 
before before we do that just a brief report of what we have achieved over the course of the year so in the madrasa currently we have 390 students two boys hips classes one girls hips class two sessions of pray and play class and the rest of the madrasa from classes 1 to 10 we have 28 members of staff as well as seven volunteers Moving on to the activities, we held an Ahsan al-Qawaid workshop for mothers of children in class, in the pray and play class and class one at the beginning of the year. We had a week dedicated to the seerah of our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. All the classes from pray and play class to class 10 took part in workshops studying various aspects from the seerah. The children then presented their learning in the form of a seerah jalsa in the masjid, right here. We, de we dedicated some time to learn about important times of the year, e.g. Hazrat Isa alayhi salam at Christmas time. We learned about Muharram. Our library sessions continued. We introduced superstar assemblies for each term. These were very well received and we will continue with these next year, inshallah. We continued our charity work where we raised money for shelters in Syria and eye operations in India. We had a football tournament last week for the boys in class 6 plus which gave the boys an opportunity to participate in a fun activity in an Islamic environment. Our Seeking Pearls club for the girls of class 4 and above continued and they have had another successful year alhamdulillah the girls have taken part in a variety of activities from nature walks nature trails to craft sessions including knitting and arabic calligraphy we'd like to thank all our volunteers who helped run this group for their commitment and dedication to the club Following the successful Imtu Amal trial last year, this year we implemented the Imtu Amal curriculum as part of our Tarbiya syllabus. Classes 4 to 8, boys and girls had weekly lessons which they enjoyed and benefited much from. As part of the Imtu Amal Ta'aleem, there is a strategic focus towards the practical element of Deen. Some may argue that knowledge is power. But our deen teaches us that knowledge will not benefit you if there is no amal. Both go hand in hand. The videos of our campaigns will no doubt have brought a smile to your faces and melted your hearts. But more importantly, the impact of these campaigns is that they will leave behind a positive opinion of our deen within the eyes of the wider community, especially the non-Muslims. For those of you who haven't seen our videos, you should check our Madrasa YouTube, cha YouTube channel and Alhamdulillah they're all on there some of the campaigns we did this year are feed the homeless at a local shelter a nature trail recognizing key, key community members visiting the local fire station with gifts for the firefighters caring for the sick and needy we distributed presents at the local hospital children's ward and hot meals for the nurses we planted 150 trees at the local nature reserve we fed our neighbors and we supported and collected for our local charities we we're also very fortunate to have been nominated as finalists for the fusion awards which we we didn't win but it was a great honor to have our efforts recognized for these awards Moving forward, we want to continue with these campaigns and build on them so our children live with positive, positive experiences of madrasa and also so that our deen is seen is our, in, our, in a positive manner within the wider community. For this, we require male and female volunteers. As a volunteer, you would assist us by joining us for a few hours on the day of the campaign and beforehand help us prepare as well so males will join the males and females will join the females if you are interest, interested in this 
then please send us a message on the Madrasa mobile with your name and contact details and we will be in touch, inshallah. Finally, we would like to extend our gratitude to the volunteers who, who made this Ilm to Amal successful this year. A special Jazakallah to Haji Faisal Dal from Rumi restaurant and also to the mother of Lukman Wadi, a sprinkle of spice, who donated food regularly for our um, campaigns. Allah accept them and grant them barakah in their livelihoods. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Sahih Mulsab as well for his efforts to make Intu Amal successful this year. Alhamdulillah, he has spent hours and hours out of madrasa to organize everything. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept. Alhamdulillah, madrasa has also continued to serve the wider community. Classes for sisters have continued throughout this academic year. We currently have three classes running on a weekly basis during term time. Halaqat on Mondays, Sira on Tuesdays and Tajweed on Thursdays. The classes are open to all sisters, young and old. Registration and enrol enrollment, there's nothing required and these classes are run by volunteers. This year, the sisters attending the Halakat hosted seven primary school visits from around Lancashire, giving hands-on tours of the masjid, organizing workshops and presentations for groups of over 60 children. Excellent feedback was received from the schools after each visit, alhamdulillah. May Allah sub subhanahu wa ta'ala continue to allow the madrasa to serve the wider community. Ameen. I'd also like to take this opportunity to thank everybody all the people who make help the madrasa run smoothly. Our dedicated and hardworking teachers and volunteers have done an amazing job this year. I appreciate each of them and their dedication to the madrasa and hope they have a restful and rejuvenated summer. I'd like to thank the parents, the madrasa committee, the maintenance team and the community in general for their support. I pray Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept all the efforts of everybody for all shortcomings and mistakes, we request forgiveness and humbly ask that you help us in our efforts to benefit all our students. Jazakallah. Moving back to the programs. Um, no Jalsa is complete without a role play. So this year's topic is uh, time management. Every second that ticks away is our life slipping away from us. Our life is melting like ice, as they say. For this, I call upon Tahani Rahil Ahmad, Maimuna Kamran Khan, Sumaya Begum, Aisha Sajid Makbul, Aisha Shoaib Patel, Noor Abdul Momin Al Hakim, Ayman Hassan Laher, Umair Firoz Bucks. Ammar Shoaib Bucks, Jamil Imtiaz Ahmad, and Muhammad Zakaria Desai.
السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Scene one. It's 4:15 a.m. and Amr Zalam goes off for Fajr Salah. Oh, just five more minutes and I'll wake up. Those five more minutes turn into three hours. When he does wake up, it is now 7 a.m. Seven o'clock. Seven o'clock already? Oh no, I missed my fudger and if I don't get up now, I'll be late for my meeting at work. Scene two. At work in the boardroom, the meeting is in progress with Ahmed's boss and work colleagues having a discussion. I'm sorry I'm late, everyone. I kind of overslept. This isn't the first time you've been late, Ahmed. This was supposed to be a very important meeting for this mis business and your tardiness has let the team down. I have no choice but to give you a final warning. I understand. It won't happen again. Scene 3. Later that day, Ahmed and his family are sitting around the Dastakhan for dinner. How was Madrasa kids? What did you learn about today? We had an assembly on punctuality and how important it is to be on time. Yeah. Abba said we should always focus on putting our slappers and trying to be on time for that. If we do that, then we'll learn to be on time for everything else too. That's very true, children. I always used to say to your dad that being on time for his salah will help to discipline the rest of his day. Pray your salah on time and everything else will go right for you. Yeah, but dad's always there for picking us up from madrasa and school. Even today we had to wait in the office until he came. Yeah, all my friends and even most of the teachers had gone home. We were the last one. I'm sorry kids, I just had a very rough day today. Why? What happened? It started last night. I was up until late preparing for this meeting at work. So I ended up praying my Isha very late. Then I couldn't wake up for Fajr because I was so tired. So I missed that. And on top of all that, I woke up late for work. I missed most of the meeting. So now I'm on my final warning. Beta, don't you see? You delayed your Isha last night and in return, everything was affected. And on top of that, you missed your fudger, so you had no barakah in the rest of your day. You need to realize the importance of managing your time. Like your children have said, revolve your day around salah and everything else will fall into place. I know, mom. I need to really change. Scene four. Later in the evening, Ahmed and his children are watching the World Cup final when the Adhan for Asr starts. Ahmed, turn up the TV. It's Asr time. You need to go pray. Harry Kane, three on goal. Come on, take yes. the shot. Come Shoot. On. Yes. yes. One nil. Come on. Ahmed, turn off the TV. It's also time. You need to go pray. I will, Mum. There's not long left now and England are winning in the World Cup final. Let's go.
The score is 1-1 at full time and the match goes into extra time, leaving only 10 minutes left until sunset. Ahmed, look at the time. It's almost Maghrib and you still have to pray at Asr. It's Maghrib time, Ahmed. Looking at the time, Ahmed rushes up to perform wudu and offer his Asr Salah in the little time he has left. Hastily, he grabs a prayer mat, not wanting a repeat of earlier today. The words of his mother and children pass through him whilst in sajda. And when he lifts his head, it isn't his room in which he finds himself in. There are beads of sweat trickling like tiny pearls from his forehead. And all of a sudden, a hideous screeching sound rings in his ears. All around him is chaos, people running in every direction. Some people on their knees with raised hands. He's terrified and realizing what is happening. The, the, the dreaded day of judgment has arrived. He remembers hearing many things about this long away today, but all of that seems a distant memory. Fear of the unknown fills every part of him. He spots his mother and runs frantically towards her, but she only gives him a blank look and turns in the opposite direction. Suddenly, bellowing out from nowhere, he hears his name called out. He stands frozen to the spot. A few mom moments of stillness envelop him as he sees all these people split apart and he's re led by two angels dressed in white, one on each side of him, down the path that has been cleared. Arriving at his destination, he pleads his case. I, f I followed the five pillars of Islam. Whatever Allah's command was, I obeyed. I followed the right path. His life flashes before his eyes like a documentary, while the two angels produce their papers of recorded deeds. The final decision about his fate is at last about to be sealed. The angels drag him towards the fiery abyss of Jahannam. He screams and pleads for help, quoting all of his good deeds, including Salah. The angels finally reach the edge. Towards the fiery rocks he falls, plunging deeper and deeper into the fiery pit. He feels the indescribable force of the heat. It seems like an eternity. He has almost reached the bottom when a gentle hand pulls him back up to safety. Turning to see who the rescuer is, he says, The flames almost reached my skin. Who are you and why did you leave it to the last minute? The old fair man smiles and says, I'm your Salah, you were always late for me. At once, he raises his head from Salah and breaks out in a sweat. It is time for Maghrib. He rushes out of the house to go to the masjid. Lessons to learn. Being on time for our salah helps us discipline the rest of our day. We must revolve our day around salah and everything else will fall into place. Our salah teaches us punctuality that we can implement into our daily routine. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Allah, this teaches us that we should cherish, cherish every moment of our life and not waste this great asset in futile engagements. Some more donations for everybody from the women's side, 234 pounds and 61 pence. To all from Siraj Bangia and sister, 55 pounds. To Muhammad Yasin Bucks. From Fawa, Foy, Mariam and Maria, a sealed envelope to all for all participants from one Muslim brother fifteen pounds, one Muslim sister forty pounds, from Hassan Bucks sixty pounds, from Muslim brother twenty pounds, from Haji Yusuf Abdullah Tapu and brothers one thousand pounds to all participants. To Muhammad 
Yasin Bucks again from At Atiyah Foy and Fawa, 10 pounds. For Yahya and Khadija Ismail from Adil Mama and Mami, 10 pounds. Okay, this brings us uh, nicely to our next program. We have all made errors and mistakes. Let us turn to Allah and ask Him for His, for his mercy and forgiveness. For this, I call upon class 9A to come and recite an Ashid. Muhammad Harun Asmal, Maaz Asif Rudwa, Ziyad Zubair Lunat, Hamza Yusuf Umar, Yasin Muhammad Nakuda, Yusuf Ismail Dedat, Huzefa Shoaib uh, Muhammad Imtiaz Umar, Huzefa Shoaib Master, and Muhammad Adil Ejaz Malam. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Bismillah rahman rahim. Allah, 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 Allah. Allah, 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 Allah. Allah, 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 Allah. Allah, 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 Allah. Ya Rabbi, bakhshi dina bando ko kamtiya. Ya Rabbi, bakhshi dina bando ko kamtiya. La tukna tu sunahe, hamne kalam tiya. La tukna tu sunahe, hamne kalam tiya. Allah, 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 Allah. Allah, 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 Hey, tu hi de ne vala pasti se de bulandi. Hey, tu hi de ne vala pasti se de bulandi. Asfal Mukam Mira Ala Mukam Tia Asfal Mukam Mira Ala Mukam Tia Allah 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 Jab 
अब तक है दिल बगल में हर दिन हो याद तेरी जब तक है दिल बगल में हर दिन हो याद तेरी जब तक जबान है मुँह में जारी हो नाम तेरा जब तक जबान है मुँह में जारी हो नाम तेरा अल्लाह 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 शम्सू दुहा मुहम्मद बदू दुजा मुहम्मद शम्सू दुहा मुहम्मद बदू दुजा मुहम्मद है नूर पाक रोशन हो सुबह हो शाम तेरा हे नूर पाक रोशन हो सुबह हो शाम तेरा अल्लाह 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 ये दाग भी न होगा तेरी सिवा किसी का कोने में है जो कुछ वो है तमाम तेरा कोने में है जो कुछ वो है तमाम तेरा अल्लाह 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 Now to our final program. Just a few weeks ago, it was the blessed month of Ramadan. Alhamdulillah, in this month, we all made extra effort to attend the masjid. Masajid were full; they were buzzing. There was such a good atmosphere. But as soon as the month of Ramadan departed, the masajid have become empty. Imagine how these masajid feel. They are crying out for us, the Muslims. Do they only deserve to be filled for one month? Let us listen to what the masajid are saying. If we could hear them, for this I call upon Class Five A to recite a few couplets. For I call Yusuf Muhammad Saeed, Umar Idris Hansrod, Rayyan Anas Yaqub, Umar Zahid Wahid, Ibrahim Abu Bakr Bula, and Muhammad Mardi Fardin Shahan Mia. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. يوجا سبتي هو راحتي بلاتي هي. أو إيه مسلمانو مسجد بلاتي هي. हर 
जान में तुमको नुसरते बुलाती है क्यों उदास
Okay, that brings us to the end of the programs. Um, uh, is I'll just call Hafiz Faisullah and Abdullah to the front. Um, just before that, two more donations to all participants from Aisha Ghulam Limbar, 30 pounds. And for all participants from one Muslim brother, ten pounds. So now we're going to move on to the um, first, second, and third position awards. So for that, I'll need some help here. So can Hafiz Faisullah and Abdullah please come to the front? Bring them to here. Yeah? Okay, so we'll start with um, class one. So class one A. Um, mashallah, class one and class two, two did very very well in the exams. So there's going to be a lot of them coming up at the front. So class one A in third position we had. Amina Talha Ahmad, Amira Tahir Kazi, and Yahya Ahmad, 1A. Third. Yeah, that's how we start. Third. Can you come to the front, please? None of them here? Oh. Okay, moving on to second position. Halima Suhail Suleiman, Halima Suhail Suleiman, Khadija Junaid Patel, Maryam Suhail Suleiman, and Rahma Irfan Patel. In first position, Amina Zahra Yunus Pandor, Khalil Yasir Yusuf, Maria Muhammad Kazi, Muhammad Imran Shah, Muhammad Zahir Patel, and Umair Sajid Makbul. So all these ch children achieved full marks in their exams. Class 1B, third position Khadija Muhammad Nakuda Laiba Rahul Patel 
Nuseiba Shuai Bucks and Sana Ikram Karmadia. In second position, second position, we had Sara Shakil Mullah and Yasmin Mohsin Bodhi. In first position, we had Alina Naim Patel. Fatima Khalil Asmal, Humaira Iqbar Nariyarwala, and Muhammad Asif Patel. Muhammad might struggle. Uh, in class 1C, in third position, we had Aisha Molana Ilyas Desai, Muhammad Imran Wali. Oh, sorry, there's only two. Second position, um, Muhammad Imran Wali, is he here? Second position, Mariam Abdul Ikheria and Mariam Aslam Sultan. And in first position, Tanisha Milan Armani. Tanisha Milan Armani. In class 2A, third position, Faizan Zubair Bala. I'll just give Muhammad his. Faizan Zubair Bala and Muhammad Hasnain Malik. Is he here, Muhammad Hasnain? Faizan. Second position, Hafsa Arif Munshi, Maria Zakaria Desai, Muhammad Kamran Khan, and Uzair Harun Asmal. We just need to keep the noise levels down, please, so we can hear the names. In first position, we had Muhammad Rizwan Hansrat and Yusuf Molana Ahmed Bucks. Oh. Class 2B. In third position, we had Anas Zakir Hussein Makkan. Anas Zakir Hussein. In second position, Rukaya Salik Mia, Wadihur Mujibur Rahman, and Muhammad Samuel Sharif Ahmed. I want to tell you. Rukhaya, Wadiyu Rahman, Muhammad Samuel. And in first position, this is a long list Aida Mujibur Rahman, 
علینا عدنان بشیر امین سہیل خان زہرا محمد زاہد محمد ریان عرفان پتل حفظہ خالد امین اور فائنلی ریحان عبدال ریحان عبدال غفار غنی ویل دن تو آل Class 2C. 2C. There's a long list again, mate. Third position, there's six. Okay. Third position. Class 2C, third position. Alman Hassan Laher. Mariam Muhammad Ali Siddiqui. Mustafa Arjuman Zaman Ali. Umayma Ikram Patel, Yusuf Ahmed Safras Ismail, and Irfan Fazili. In second position, second position. Ahmed Maulana Muhammad Saeed, Aman Amir Bukhari, and Fodja Uddin. I think she might be on the girl's side. Fodja Uddin might be on the girl's side. Fodja, Fodja. Okay. And in first position, First position, class 2C, Fatima Muhammad Anamul Haq, Rayan Imran Rawat, and Zainab Asif Kantaria. Is it three? Three A. We have to give trophies here. Okay, from class three. Class three, A. Third position. Shah Sawar Fuad Khan. And Toha Khalil Asmal. In second position, Amana Kamran Khan, Muhammad Adam Mutala, and Yahya Faizullah Ismail. And in first position, Ahmad Zahir Patel and Isa Imran Rawat. Class 3B. In third position, we had Abdul Muhaymin. And Nusayba Rahman, Abdul Muhaymin and Nusayba Rahman. We have seven in second position. <laughs> okay, so it's um, Adil Yasir Yusuf, second position. Isa Imran Shah, Fatima Yunus, 
Uh, children, we just need to settle down, please, children, in the side room. Hamida Imran Box. Muhammad Ibrahim Zafar Patel. Muhammad Mahdi Suleiman. And Uzair Yunus Box. Class 3A, 3B, sorry, first position. Ilaya Amran Gani, Ilaya Amran Gani. And Muhammad Naeem Ejaz Malam. Who? Hmm. days. Class 4A, third position, third position, Rana Habibi, second position, Asiful Nurul Mannan Haq, Hasina Rizwan Hansrot, and Simra Rifat Siddiqui. In first position, first position, we had Abdul Rahman Abdullah Desai. That's 4A, man. Class 4B. Yeah, that's for me. No, it's not done yet. We're gonna. Yeah, yeah. Okay, four B, third position. We had Sania Mia. Second position, we had Alena Riaz Desai. And first position, we had Ammar Arif Patel. Not this Arif Patel. <laughs> Class 5A. Third position, Ibrahim Shoaib Isap. Third. Class 5A. Yusuf Molana Muhammad Saeed. Third position. Second position, we had Isa Muhammad Safras Ismail and Umar Zahid Waid. And in first position, we had Muhammad Zakir Ejaz Malam and Muhammad Zakaria Desai. Okay, class 5B on the girls' side. 5B on the girls' side. 
In third position, Humera Arif Dedat. In second position, Humera on that side, on that side. Second position, Kamila Khalid Amin. Second position, Kamila Khalid Amin. And first position, Aisha Sajid Makbul. First position, Aisha, Aisha Sajid Makbul. Class 6A. 6A again, we have quite a few awards to give out. Third position, Abu Hamza Ruhel Mia and Ayman Hassan Laher. Third position, Abu Hamza Ruhel Mia and Ayman Hassan Laher. Second position, Ahmad Haroon Asmal. And in first position, we have five. These guys, very competitive class. So we have Abdul Rahman Shoaib Master, Ammar Lukman Munshi, we have Junaid Umar, Shazad Shahi Rahman Khanam, and Zakaria Zafar Patel. Six B on the girl side. Six B. Third position, Halima Saeed Hansrot. Third position, Khadija Siraj Aslam. Islam, sorry. Third position, Malika Hassan Laher. And third position, Sadia Kabir Akhtar. In second position, we had Aksa Khalid Amin. And in first position, Alicia Yunus Pandor. 7A on the boys' side. Third position, we had Yusuf Ayub Leli. Second position, we had Hamad Zahid Muhammad. And in first position, Irfan Munir Mamsa. On the girls' side, third position, 7B. Zahra Zubair Amirat. Second position, Amani Jabir Sola. And Joint first position, Nusrat Zahra Muhammad Siddiqui and Raisa Rahil Ahmad. First position. Okay, we just need to keep the noise down, please. In class 7C, third position on the girl side again, Maria Bilal Madan. Second position, Suhana Shakil Mullah. In first position, Amira Husman Pat Usman Patel. <coughs> and Zara Riaz Desai. First position. Class 8A. Third position, Muhammad Umar Javid Iqbal. Second position, joint second position, Umar Al Falahi and Junaid Ibrahim Wadi. And in first position, uh, 
احمد اقبال نریال والا Eight B on the girls' side, joint third position. Alia Farooq Patel, Alia Ilyas Lely, and Zainab Abu Bakr Bula. In second position, Alia Shoaib Bawa, and in first first position. Sharmina, Shamina Farooq Mia. Class 9A, boy side. Third position, Muhammad Adil Ajaz Malam. Second position, Muhammad. Which Muhammad? Muhammad Zubair Bala. First position. Any guesses? Tahir Ibrahim Wadi. And Muhammad Harun Asma. Nine B girl side. Third position, Amara Asif Kantaria. Second position, Zahra Arif Munshi. And in first position, Alia Bilal Muhammad. Just a few more to go, a few more to go. Uh, class 10B on the girls' side, third position, joint third position, Amina Saeed Acha and Sumaya Ayyub Muhammad. In second position, joint second position, Amina Usman Makkan, Fatima Ilyas Munji. And Fatima Imran Kantaria. And in first position, Raisa Muhammad Darsot. Three more classes, three more classes. Gives A first. Just a quick update on the donations for Usman Junaid, Junaid Asmal from Yusuf Mama and Mami, 25 pounds. For Hamida Imran Bucks from Yusuf Mama and Mami, 25 pounds. To all from the women, 42 pounds, 45 pence. And the running total is 1,627 pounds. Just the HIFS classes left now. HIFS A. In third position, Muhammad Rafiq Patel. Second position, Muhammad Ahyan Kamran Khan. And in first position, Salman Munir Mamsa. Hives B, third position. Yahya Zakaria Desai. In second position, Zakaria Harun Mia. And in first position. First position. Usman Farooq Bangi. Usman Farooq Bangi. And the girls' hips class. Girls hips class on the girls side, third position, Maria Harun Asmal. In second position, Sara Khalil Asmal. 
And in first position, it's not a clean sweep. It's not a clean sweep. <laughs> Radia Kabir Mia. Okay, so that's the end of the awards. And we are coming to the end now. Before we come to the end, we'd just like to show our appreciation to our volunteers as well. So we have a little gift for them as well. So if, if you can give the... We have six female volunteers and one male volunteer. So if you can give the gift, if the gifts out to the female volunteers, Nazneen Mullah, Sharmina Chaudhary, Rabia Hansrod, Shakira Hansrod, Alia Bucks, and Sana Kazi, and Fahim from the boys' side. Fahim, are you here, Fahim? Fahim Darsot? No? We'll pass it on, inshallah. Okay, that brings us to the end of the Jalsa, and we'd just like to conclude with a short dua with Molana Mubarak Sab. So if, if you can all settle down for a short dua and then everybody is free to leave. Oh, and before you leave, there's sweets for all the students, all the students. So please do stay behind and take some sweets with you. So you have to wait for the dua. My Duru Shai Pallaji. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina wa Nabiyyina Mawlana Muhammadin wa ala ala Sayyidina wa Nabiyyina Mawlana Muhammadin wa barik wa sallim. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala ala Sayyidina Muhammadin salatan tunjina biha min jami'i lahuali wa lafat wa taqudilana biha jami'i lahajat wa tutahhirana biha min jami'i sayyat wa tarfawna biha indaka ala darajat wa tuballiguna biha aqsa al-ghayat min jami'i al-khayrat fi al-hayat wa ba'd al-mamat innaka ala kulli shayin qadir ربنا وظلمنا أنفسنا وإن لم تغفر لنا وترحمنا لنكون من الخاسرين ربنا أتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار وقنا عذاب الفقر وقنا عذاب الحشر وقنا عذاب القبر وقنا عذاب الدين وحشرنا يوم القيامة مع المتقين مع الأبرار ربنا لا تزق قلوبنا بعد إذا هديتنا وهب لنا من لدنك رحمة إنك أنت الوهاب ربنا إنك جامع الناس اليوم لا ريب فيه إن الله لا يخلف الميعاد اللهم يا مقلب القلوب ثبت قلوبنا على دينك اللهم يا مصرف القلوب صرف قلوبنا على طاعتك اللهم ثبتنا على الإيمان وأمتنا على الإيمان وحشرنا يوم القيامة مع المتقين مع الإيمان اے اللہ ہماری گناہوں کو معاف فرما ہماری خطاہوں کو درگزر فرما ہماری سیئیات کو حسینات سے مبدل فرما اے اللہ ہماری جمع ہونے کو قبول فرما اس مدرسے کے جلسے کو قبولیت کا درجہ نصیب فرما یا اللہ قبولیت نصیب فرما یا اللہ قبولیت نصیب فرما یا اللہ اس مدرسے کے بچوں کو یا اللہ ان کے دلوں کو کھول دیجئے یا اللہ ان کے سینوں کو کھول دیجئے یا اللہ اس مدرسے کے اندر سے یا اللہ علماء پیدا فرما اے اللہ مفتیان کرم پیدا فرما اے اللہ آپ کے لئے کوئی مشکل نہیں یا اللہ اسی مدرسے سے یا اللہ دین کے دائی پیدا فرما اے اللہ ہماری محنتوں کو قبول فرما اسات جائی کرام کی محنتوں کو قبول فرما آپاؤں کی محنتوں کو قبول فرما اے اللہ منتظمین کی محنتوں کو قبول فرما اس مدرسے کو دین دگنی رات چگنی ترق کی نصیب فرما اے اللہ جس محنت کے اندر جو کوٹائیاں ہوئی ہم سے اے اللہ اسے معاف فرما اے اللہ اسے معاف فرما اے اللہ آگے زیادہ سے زیادہ محنتیں کرنے کی توفیق نصیب فرما اے اللہ جو مانگا وہ بھی عطا فرما جو نمانگ سے کہ اپنی شاہن شاہن عطا فرما اللہم ربنا تقبل منا انکا انتا السمیع العالیم و تب علین یا مولانا انکا انتا التواب الرحیم و صلی اللہ تعالی لخیر خلقی سیدنا محمد و آلہ و اصحابی اجمعین برحمتک یا رب